Hey guys, this is Ram Basai here from Alok Institute. Today we will learn about once you start your Oracle database instance with the startup command, what are the values it will be shown to you below the the total SGA, the number of the sizes it has been allocated during your startup option. Let's understand one by one. The number one it is called as a fixed SGA, where this fixed SGA will store the fixed objects sometimes called it's a x dollar tables so on top of this x dollar tables we have to say v dollar views gets to prepared so what is the table name x dollar tables sometimes it is called fixed objects those these fixed objects will be stored in the area called fixed sga and on top of those uh, objects the views gets created those views called v dollar views and sometimes it is called dynamic performance views that's what you have to tell within my fixed size what will be stored the objects one is a uh, x dollar tables and v dollar views that's a point number one point number two says variable size the variable size is other word it is uh, storing the multiple pools combined together called the variable size so here the information to note of it let's note one by one what exactly it stores for here so here the variable we call it as a variable size for back end it will take one of them is called shared pool second one is called large pool and third one is called java pool and fourth one is called so overall you have to tell the component called variable size but you have to tell it is referred as a variable size but it is a combination of multiple pools and that's a, what the second size has been allocated within my SGA called system global area so you have to tell the variable size is uh, nothing but the multiple pool components together becomes a the variable size the third would be your database buffers the database buffers uh, sometimes called database buffer cache or db cache where you will store your blocks you, you will bring the blocks from the data file and store it here for modification purpose that's what the third space will be consumed in the sga and the fourth component is called radio buffers nothing but it is called radio log buffer or radio buffers so here any changes you do it in your database buffers which uh, will be recorded in the radio buffers which is we called as a change vectors will be or radio entries will be stored in your radio buffers and later the information gets uh, updated to your radio log file so these are the four components will be shown to you once you start your oracle database instance by using the startup command that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Take care and bye-bye.